welcome to the Hollywood Partnerships interview with the Chinese Theater. Today we have Levi Tinker from the TCL Chinese Theater here with us. How are you doing today, Levi? I'm doing fantastic. Happy to be back and have our doors open and have movies up on our big silver screen again. Well, we're definitely happy. It was very good news for Hollywood when we heard that the the Chinese Theater was opening their doors again after over a year, I believe, of being closed. So. Um, I just wanted to start out by asking you for a little, a brief history of the Chinese theater. I know um, a lot of people are familiar with it, and having worked in Hollywood for over a decade, I know it's the number one question that tourists ask when they get here: is where is the Chinese theater? So, what is the Chinese theater, and how did it get its start here in Hollywood? We were originally built by Sid Grauman way back in 1927. When he built the theater, he had also built the Grauman's Egyptian Theater up the street and the Million Dollar Theater in downtown Los Angeles and a few other theaters around Los Angeles. You know, he had introduced the concept of a world premiere at his Grauman's Egyptian Theater, and so when he built the Chinese, he wanted to have this be kind of the show palace for those red carpet premieres and events. And so he found what he felt was a perfect spot right here on Hollywood between Highland and Orange. And since then, we've had more movie premieres than any other theater world. And of course, one of the things we're really well known for, of course, is our hand and footprints, which began as an accident back in 1927. And depending upon who you talk to,、uh, there are two different stories as to how it could have happened. One, the main, the one that's kind of really considered to be the official story was Norma Talmadge was walking through, stepped in wet cement. Sid Grauman saw that, and the idea struck him right there as a great way to launch the opening of the theater. The other version of that story is that it was Mary Pickford, and that Mary Pickford, who was one of the co-owners of the theater along with Douglas Fairbanks,、uh, she was the one that stepped in the wet cement, and the idea began with with her. But not wet cement here at the theater, the wet cement in her driveway at home. Her and her little dog Zorro, and Zorro leaped out of her hands and and, and ran through the cement, and that's she called up Sid Grauman. Uh, and told him the idea, and that's the other story of how it began. I know that's the story that Johnny Grant used to love to say、uh, whenever he officiated our hand and footprint ceremonies. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Do you have any hand and footprint ceremonies scheduled for the future yet, or is that something that'll come later? So we're, we're right now we're focused on getting the movies back up and running on screen. We'll be making announcements for other things in the future coming up as those are plans are available and in effect to be made. But for right now, we're excited about just getting audiences back in to experience movies like Godzilla vs Kong. Or you know, we had the the、uh, first two days we were reopened. We had、uh, Tenant playing in theater and IMAX, and both of those had a great response.、Uh, Godzilla did incredible for us this last weekend, and you know we had a big ribbon cutting ceremony. We had the four directors of the MonsterVerse films out here, so we had the current director Adam Wingard, who directed Godzilla vs Kong, along with the three other directors who directed. Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and also Kong Skull Island. So that was a pretty exciting day for us last Monday. That's a way to relaunch the theater with the opening after more than a year. That's awesome. So yeah, it has been you know over a year now since the pandemic first shut everything down in Hollywood. How was that for you all at the Chinese Theater, and what have you been doing in that in the time since then? I've been one of the one of the few people that's been still here this entire time. So I would come in daily and. Make sure everything was well maintained. Make sure the projectors were up and running, and 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 getting everything ready to go. You know, we we had this year where we were able to prep and and start getting things ready for when we would get the call that it was okay to start reopening. And so, you know, we've we've done a great job of working with the county and city guidelines and with the CDC guidelines. And the National Association of Theater Owners has a Cinema Safe program, so we've done a, a great job of implementing all those procedures and policies into. Into our reopening plan, and so audiences that have been coming here have been having a great experience for the last、uh, week, a little over a week now that we've been reopened. That's great. So it sounds like there's a lot more tourists out and about in Hollywood. So hopefully that's that's only good news for you all. Yep. Yeah. So definitely seeing an,、uh, an increase in tourists that are coming on now. The other great thing is we still have our tours that are going on、uh, during the morning hours. They're abbreviated times now. We have them going just mainly in the morning and early afternoon, starting at 9:30 in the morning till about 1:30, 2:30 in the afternoon. We have our half-hour walking tour, and then after that last tour at 2:30, we shift over into、uh, movie mode. And then for the evening, we have two shows on the weekdays and three shows on the weekends. Well, that's great.、Um, I know, like you mentioned,、um, the Chinese is kind of the, the official home of movie premieres. 
premieres in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. What's been your favorite movie premiere since you've been there? Wow, you know, it's been 21 years. There's been so many incredible ones to, to be there, to be a part of. Definitely some of my favorites, of course, have got to be the Star Wars premieres. Also, you know, I'm a big Star Trek fan, so I like, I've, I've enjoyed the Star Trek premieres. The one they did back in 2009 for the J.J. Uh, Abrams Star Trek. Mm-hmm. Just incredible. The setup that they did for that, where they had the actual logo in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard, that was the actual carpet. A couple years ago for the movie The Meg, which was a 3D shark movie, they actually had the carpet set up as a like an underwater sea lab. Oh, wow. So they've done some really cool things for the for those red carpet setups and and over over the last year. Definitely in the 20 years I've been here, 21 years I've been here now. Well, that's awesome. I, I certainly have been to a couple premieres there myself, and I'm really looking forward to what Whatever the next big premiere will be there. Are there any other big movies or events coming up that you can mention? Well, this Friday, we're going to be reopening the Chinese Six Theater. So we're going to have movies playing up there as well, too, beginning, beginning Friday. Uh, uh, we'll have four of the six screens open. So we're excited about that. So uh, we had we had a great reopening with the IMAX. So now we're going to expand and reopen uh, the TCL Chinese Six Theater. So we'll have a total of five movies playing all together during the course of the day. Oh, that's great to hear. Where can folks go to check out the movie showtimes and lineups? So if you go on our website at tclchinesetheaters.com, uh, they have our lineups and our sh- schedule for our movies that we have playing both in the IMAX, in the original theater, and then also in the TCL Chinese Six Theaters as well, too, including our MX4D Auditorium, which is the motion and strobe light and water effects that we have with those movies that play in there. That's where you'll find the location and times for both of those. And also our tour times are also on the site as well, too. And then we always update our Facebook and our Twitter and our Instagram pages on a daily basis with, with any news and updates as well. And some fun facts and trivia as well also that's so so cool that you're offering the tours to people right now well that's about all the questions i have i just wondered if there might be some interesting tidbit of history about the chinese theater that you could tell us that people may not know well you know one of the really cool things is you know we've had over a hundred movies and tv shows that have filmed at the theater going back way back to 1927 and a lot of people they aren't always aware of that and every time the theater pops up in a movie it's it's as the chinese theater not just as a random movie theater or random setting everything from blazing saddles to there was the remake of mighty joe young came out in 1998 they actually had a computer generated joe young scale the facade of the theater uh for for the climatic sequence of that film they filmed a sequence for the majestic and and also speed uh with keanu reeves and sandra bullock it's the anniversary this year for Speed, and I actually filmed the big finale of the movie. The red line subway car bursts out of the track and then right lands right in front of the TCL Chinese Theater out front there, and then the credits begin to roll in the movie. So oh, wow. we not only shown the movies, we've been featured in the movies quite a bit over the years. I do remember one of my favorite memories was watching the film Zombieland at the Chinese Theater. And when they arrive at the Chinese Theater in the movie, everyone in the theater just started cheering and clapping and screaming. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful. (laughs) That was a really cool scene to see filmed here as well too because it's just a, it's just a funny scene seeing that charlie chaplin zombie chase after them one other one other little kind of cool thing has to do with a handprint so one of my favorite stories with a hand and footprint out there in the pool court, we honored frank sinatra back in 1965 for von ryan's express and when we honored him out there in the forecourt there were at the time you know we had fans that were on the forecourt during the ceremony and one of the fans wanted to get a better view so they took it upon themselves to climb a tree that was in the courtyard <laughs> to get a view of the actual Sarah, a better view of Sinatra putting his hands in the cement. He climbed up his shadow cast over Sinatra. He looks up at the guy, sees the guy dangling there, and the guy shouts out, hey, Sinatra, I'm overshadowing your big day. And as Sinatra looked at him, smiled, and jokingly said, drop dead, buddy. <laughs> Two seconds later, the guy fell out of the tree, hit the ground. He was okay, oh. but embarrassed, and he ran off. Wow. (laughs) Well, that's a great story. I definitely have not heard that one before. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with us here today. It's great news to hear that you're you're reopening all the all the theaters on Friday. So everybody make sure to come up to Hollywood and check out a movie at the world famous TCL Chinese Theater. (laughs) 